Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. It's dark. A thunderstorm just passed. It's probably nine, nine o'clock or so. <clears throat> you usually see when the bees are friendly and nice and gentle. This is just for demonstration purposes only. I just want to check and see. How friendly the bees are and show everybody how they differ at night time this is just for education purposes only we have very gentle stock of bees but at night time these things can be a whole different creature altogether let's see what they do this is just for for people to see and everyone's seen pic, uh, videos of me handling bees and they're real gentle and you know it all depends on the time of day that you pick for them to uh, be gentle is one thing. Um, when it's sunny, when it's hot, it's the perfect best time to go out and go through your bees. Now, this right here is a complete opposite of what you want to do. I just want to show people how different bees are if you come into them at the wrong time. Let's see how let's see how gentle they are now. This is a small colony, so they may not be that aggressive. Um, I don't have a bee suit. No gloves. We'll just see what they do. They don't look happy for sure. This is a split. This is one that we had sold and then turned it into a split afterwards. So there's not a there's not a whole lot of bees in this hive right here. Uh, they're a little bit agitated. You can see that one right there. It just stung my thumb. They're a little bit different. This is uh, education purposes only. I'm just showing people how they act, how different they are at the wrong time of day. They're not nice, they're not happy. That one just stung me there on the arm. They're trying to go up my shorts. The only reason I'm doing this is so the new beekeeper will know when the best time to go through your bees. And it's when the sun goes down, do not try to go through your bees. Even the nicest gentle bees can be extremely agitated and mean. That one right there stung me. And she's actually stuck on my arm. You can see a stinger right there on my hand there's one right there on my thumb I want people to understand I get stung every single day so to me it's nothing it, do, it doesn't these don't swell uh, I did a video that pretty much went viral and it was about a queen that the hive didn't accept and I was going through and I was I was picking the ball where they had balled the queen and picking it up and I never took a sting, not the first sting. <clears throat> and people was amazed that I was doing that. Well, it's it's there's nothing amazing about it. It's just knowing your bees and knowing when the right time to go through your bees. Like this right here, this hive right here is very tiny. If this had been a big hive and I'd done this, I'd probably take about 50 or 60 stings. I think about three or four probably right here. But I don't want, you know, people freak out when they see me do this, but you got to understand I do this every single day. This is my life. I go through bees. I go through, uh, some days I'll go through a hundred hives. And to take a sting, I just keep working. I take a sting and I just keep on going. It just, uh, I've built up a tolerance to it. I don't swell. It stings a little bit, but I just ignore it and I just keep on working. Um, 
I know some people will get offended by me doing this, but I, but the only reason I'm doing this is so new beekeepers will understand when the right time to go through your bees is. And once the sun goes down, it's not a good time to go through them. Uh, around a thunderstorm, it's not a good time to go through them. Uh, in the heat of the day, when it's sunny and hot, when you think it's the worst time to go through them, is actually the best time to go through them. When it's hot and it's sunny, is the best time and those bees will be as gentle as can be. And just a little tip from Barnyard Bees, I just wanted to do a little video and show people how, how and when not to go through your bees. See, you can tell just, just by listening to them. You can tell, even if they don't sting me, they're trying to put a message out that you need to get on out of here because they don't want me here at this time. You, you'll learn after a while, after you raise bees for a while, you'll know the signals and the signs that they give you. And it is, there's nothing magical about it, it's just experience. And, and that's about it. Learn your bees, watch your bees, monitor your bees. You'll learn from them, they'll teach you. And that's about it. This little tip from Barnyard Bees, thought I'd throw that out today and that's about it. Please don't forget to like, hit, click on the little bell. You'll be notified of new videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, Barnyard Bees.